Cambridge International uh, Assessment and International Education. You will see this. This is the board, and this is the examination for tenth grade IGCSE, International General Certificate of Secondary Education. So, what are the advantage? International board recognized by universities across the world. That is one one of the thing because it's Cambridge, London. Students are carry forward grades for foreign university, a provision that is not available to CBSE and ICSE school. Children can take this credit also after AS level and A level. That is eleventh and twelfth of Cambridge. After IGCSE, children will do AS and A level, and those credit can be taken to other countries. Greater emphasis on training, teacher training, so that teaching methodology is always evolving and never stagnant. Huge amount of trainings are available. How it is available? Because in the website itself, we have support system. and the teachers will be trained continuously and also online and nowadays because of covid it's only online otherwise offline trainings are available in all the cities in india so teachers can travel to, to those places not only metro cities even in little remote places it's available does not emphasis on rote learning and focus is on critical thinking and application based learning entirely the uh, if you do 10 gear question paper you can't do igcse because Eleventh year, a new set of questions will come, and all the questions are all application based. So, uh, just for an example, I can give you: if uh, it's if a CBSE board ask define define say Pascal's law, if ICSE board ask uh, these are all the things: what is uh, who said this and how it is, and Cambridge will uh, ask the some kind of situation explanation. and ask the children to critically analyze which law it is and how to solve it so these are three different kind of questioning pattern and igcsc has got this kind of uh, uh, different way of questioning application oriented question and all the things has got um uh, mcqs and these small questions no exam is going beyond to us and uh, in, it is comprehensively tested because more papers that is for example uh, cambridge uh, igcsc 10th grade if it is physics they have three papers one is mcq one is a written paper one is uh, practical or alternative to practical theory paper so three paper they will write then you will get consolidated mark that means to say the children have to study the entire thing not a single thing will be left out and everything is analytical then children also can choose subject it's not that you have to study this you have to study that it's not that cambridge is giving lot of options greater use of technology to enhance learning experience because um, you can do um, online testing you can if at all you are having problems with your um, dyslexia dyscalculia or you have very poor graph uh, disc i mean uh, graphity uh, dyscalculia and dysgraphia that is that is the handwriting is not good and all you are allowed to use word uh, file so that you can send the answers and if you are proven as any kind of learning disability spellings are excused and also for all the people phonetic spellings are acceptable because some of the words like xylem phloem all those things are very difficult the children can write little uh, in um, phonetic language so those things are very good teach it's a very student friendly and technology oriented uh, board then highly advanced curriculum and assortment of subject a huge amount of subjects are available children can choose that flexibility of student friendly examination system that is uh, you have an exam in november you have an exam in march you have an exam in june earlier it was in november and june and you can you have all the paper in november all the paper in june but uh, because the south east asian countries because of the cycle of examination when we demanded in 2015 14 we demanded to 2015 uh basically we started exams in march also all the quest exams are given in march also so that it will go with indian boards so that is also they have done and they can improve exam if you have not done exam in march well if i am going to write in june if the marks are better in june that marks are taken that improvement can be done immediately and english and technical subjects are very given lot of important lot of questions and lot of things are there they have an entrepreneur one one subject is there the performing arts subjects are there and so on and so forth in addition to indian parents it's also suitable option if parents are nris or planning to moving abroad for it is can be good for indian parents also it is good for international parents also let us see the disadvantages 
uh, we moderate uh, for an uh, international curriculum it is a little okay but found only in metropolitan cities and tier one cities that's again a problem but now the trend is little changing um cambridge has come in uh, gauhati and uh, dibrugarh and uh, um chandigarh and all it's coming up now but earlier it was only available in metro cities either it was there in uh, delhi bombay Kol- kolkata hyderabad chennai bangalore of course is a very big hub of igcsc school and in uh, trivandrum it was all there but now slowly it is going to remote part of the countries difficulty for students to make the transit into other board again this is the same thing with ib because everything is application oriented road memory becomes difficult for them students should involve themselves in self study it is not road memory children cannot just depend only on book the teacher teaching they need to do a lot of work on their own it can be seen as an advantage also children also who are not uh, ready to uh, memorize and write they will have a very big gala time here but self study is something is very very important in this kind of boards ib and igcse and children tend to relax because of exam oh if at all i'm not getting good marks i'll write another exam so that kind of relaxed mood can come and you know the fee structure is very high for examination each and parents have to shell off a lot of money for exam uh, writing one exam itself cost 20 25000 rupees for them and too many papers three three papers if, if the children are studying seven subject they will have to write as many as 21 papers for an examination it's very very big but it's advan- again this is an advantage and disadvantage 